Hello everyone! At Thoman Synth Reactor 2019 I interviewed Holger from Marienberg Devices Germany, a boutique synth manufacturer known for their 5U Marienberg Modular. I held the interview in German language, but since my YouTube content is usually in English, I created this summary video for you. Marienberg Devices is a synth manufacturer founded and still run by two brothers, Holger and Steffen Marienberg, who have shared their love for electronic music for decades. About 15 years ago, while moving apartments, Steffen found some of his old schematics and audio tapes from a synthesizer project he developed during his time studying audio engineering in East Germany. He had called it his VCS-2, a two-oscillator synth inspired by the EMS VCS-3. Back then manufacturing the device was not at all feasible though, so the idea lay dormant for many years until the move. His brother Holger listened to the tape recordings and was surprised that the synth didn't really sound like any other of the typical classic analog synths. So just for fun, as a Christmas gift for Steffen, he built a prototype processor board from the old designs and also rendered a 3D illustration of an imaginable VCS2 product. Of course the brothers did not leave it at that and set out to build their own dream analog synthesizer. Playability, clean volt per octave pitch tracking up to 20 kHz and highly pure waveforms were among the top priorities. Steffen had studied psychoacoustics extensively and researched how the so-called character of popular classic analog synths like the Moogs, Korks and Oberheims came to be, which was often a result of technical limitations of the old analog circuitry. Using modern circuitry now allowed Steffen and Holger to shape the sound of the analog synthesizer away from the beaten paths of synth history and after five years they finished work on their VCOA, a high-end oscillator for which they coined the term neutral analog sound. A sound so pure that it can be used in many different ways, even for precise FM synthesis. So now come on to you. One problem remained though, financial feasibility was still an issue for the full featured analog keyboard synth they had in mind, but since they had already shown off their VCO and other prototypes to an excited audience, they chose to create a modular synthesizer system instead to sell individual modules. The 5U Marienberg modular synth was born and development continued. Steffen usually does research, design and analog audio engineering, while Holger focuses on production and assembler programming for digital control processors like for the polyphonic MIDI CV converter. He actually solders all of the modules by hand too. The current module lineup consists of seemingly standard synthesizer voice building blocks, like various VCOs, a multimode filter, an envelope generator, LFO, VCA, etc. Upon closer inspection though, one realizes why the development time at Marienberg can span several years per module. For example, almost everything can be controlled via CV, and you can not only play their VCOs precisely with 1V per octave pitch tracking, but also their self-oscillating filter and even the clock of their sample and hold module. Yes, that's right, you can turn the sample and hold clock generator up to audio rate and play it with a keyboard in tune to everything else. Let's look at the multimode filter. It features the typical low pass, band pass and high pass outputs, but also a notch output, which you can actually blend seamlessly between low pass, notch and high pass filtering using the notch structure knob or CV input. <laughs> The resonance knob is also finely tuned to deliver changes over its full range, going smoothly into self-oscillation at higher settings. The voltage-controlled envelope generator is even more packed with features. Not only does it offer CV control over each ADSR stage, but it also has a global time compression input which decreases the length of all envelope stages with rising CV, just like a stringed instrument would behave where longer strings produce lower notes with long decay and shorter strings produce higher notes with a shorter decay. Of course you can also choose the re-trigger behavior of the envelope and it offers six different gate outputs indicating which ADSR stage is currently active and whether the whole envelope is running or not. An unconventional module in the lineup is the voltage controlled sine phase oscillator which provides eight sine wave outputs shifted in phase by 45 degrees each. 
there are also eight gate outputs, one for each sine wave, indicating if it's positive or negative. The playback or phase shift direction can be changed via a switch or gate signal. And of course, the module can be tuned precisely for low frequency or audio rate oscillation. Since the Marienberg brothers had keyboard players in mind as their main demographic, they also offer two robust MIDI CV interfaces. An analog step sequencer is in the works too though, which will apparently be intuitively playable to easily create variations of compositions during live performances. Alright, that concludes this interview summary video. Check out the video description for more information and links to audio demos. Thanks a lot for watching.